Hello and welcome to Theme Park Information. In today's show we've got a review for Europa Park. Uh, it's located just uh, south of Frankfurt in Germany and it's rightly considered one of the best theme parks in the world. Uh, but before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content on the show. And uh, let's get into the review and I will say this, uh, it probably is one of the best parks in the world. I'm not going to lie, it is just fantastic. I'll sum it up with this pretty much. In most parks, if you're not queuing for a roller coaster to ride or on a roller coaster or a ride, you kind of feel like you're wasting your time. You kind of feel like you're not making the most of your day. At Europa Park, it doesn't matter. The fact that you're in the park is making the most of it. You don't have that time pressure. You don't have that ride pressure. You just have a very laid back, casual viewpoint on going on rides and doing stuff. It is an amazing two day park, especially. You could definitely get it done in one day, especially the big rides, uh, especially if you really wanted to go for it. The operations and throughput for these rides are fantastic. Uh, I will, by the way, be covering uh, the big three of uh, Blue Fire, uh, Woden, and Silver Star, and they're in separate reviews, uh, so I'm not going to touch on them too much here, but I will say the uh, operations are amazing for those. Uh, let's get on to more details. So I will say they have a really good roller coaster lineup. It's not necessarily the best in Europe or anything like that, but they have a nice variety, there's a good mix, and generally speaking, they all complement each other quite well and you will not be left wanting for their rides. You, you know, there's enough to go on. Uh, they have a couple of really good water rides as well, which obviously is a big plus. Uh, the rides and the whole areas as well is incredibly well themed. It's an incredibly immersive park. It's one of these parks where you don't quite know where to point the camera for pictures. Uh, you could literally just throw it up in the air and wherever it lands, it'll probably be able to take a pretty damn solid picture. Uh, that's how nice a park it is. Uh, yeah, it just has a great atmosphere as well. You just feel very relaxed and calm and you just, I don't know, there's something about it, you just don't feel any sort of problems with just sitting down and having a beer or stuff like that while you're overlooking like, you know, this river which cuts through it with a little bit of theme in, docked around. Uh, yeah, just really, really pleasant to be. It's not a perfect park. I think it really lacks like a kind of focal point. There's lots of like kind of rat runs and maze like sort of like layouts to get to like certain places. And even though that is very cool and actually definitely adds to the park, it makes it very easy to get lost and it does mean that this park doesn't have maybe like a proper like centerpiece or like proper like, you know, main like, like dot that this is the centre of the park. Uh, which I'm not saying it necessarily would need, but I think it would really be good if it did. Uh, the other thing is, and this is a small one which we found because we were there when it was pretty hot, it was like 27, 28 degrees. And we will be honest, we could have really done with them just being able to buy, like, just drinks from, like, you know, drink stores or, you know, stuff like that, uh, which was really irritating. Like, those are shots, for example, in the UK and other parks will have, like, drinks and beverages available in gift shops, whereas Rupert Park don't, which is a bit strange. Uh, it just meant that you seem to be queuing with other people to, who were getting, like, food when you're just getting, like, a bottle of water. Thought that could have done a little bit of improvement there. It was a bit of a pain, really. Uh, I will say that uh, the maintenance and upkeep and look of the park all look fantastic. I don't think I remember seeing anything particularly broken or out of place or needing doing. I was like, oh, that's a bit of an eyesore. So like, no, this park is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and it just really is such a nice place to be. It's, as I said, it's a definite two day park. It's like, I will say as well, you could, I didn't do it, but the on site hotels look absolutely amazing. They also have a water park, uh, which they built, uh, I think, last year or something like that or doing like improvements to it last year. Uh, I will say this park potentially could do with another high-end roller coaster. Uh, I think they probably will get one in the future, but it really does need that wow coaster, I suppose. Uh, it says a lot that the best ride we went on in our quick trip uh, was uh, Expedition G-Force, and that was the best ride by a mile. Uh, so yeah, it could possibly do with a, a major ride. It could also do with a couple of major flat rides or thrill rides. I think that would really help the park. I mean, it may be a bit difficult to feed them, but I mean, something like Crazanity, for example, from Magic Mountain would be amazing at this park. Uh, just something really like, yeah, like a proper scare attraction like that. Uh, so, finishing thoughts. Uh, the park was gorgeous. Really nice to be in. Uh, had a great atmosphere. Uh, staff were really good. All spoke English pretty much. Lots of food options. Uh, operations were absolutely amazing. Uh, good roller coaster to line up. Uh, it's just generally a really nice park as well. Uh, you know, and pretty much easy to get in, easy to navigate uh, through 
Sure, I was going to say easy to carry. And I'm like, actually, there's, there's easy to carry. Well, after you've been there for a bit, it's probably how I should go for. Uh, so yeah, it probably does well live up to its reputation of being one of the best theme parks in the world, and well worth visiting. Probably one of the parks you should go to if you're planning to go to Disneyland. I would suggest going to Europa Park instead. It will not only be cheaper, but you will actually have a better time more often than not there. Uh, so anyway, uh, for close of the statement. I'd probably give it a solid 9.5 or so out of 10. Uh, I think if they were to add one extra major roller coaster and a couple of other thrill rides, it would be a stunning park, uh, give you a little bit more to do. Uh, and I will say this, I'm so happy I went. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.